I don't know about you guys, but the thing I have been craving most in this lockdown is thrifting. Thrifting and travel, but thrifting, and it is the one thing that I cannot wait to do as soon as they let us out of this lockdown. But what I have been doing instead to satisfy that craving is visiting my local Kmart and a few others around the vicinity of where I live. Kmart is pretty thrifty when it comes to their prices. If you look around, you can find some really good deals Deals, things that have been marked down. Some things are not half bad. I've got to be honest and say I don't really, you know, shop at Kmart normally, but these are not normal times. Everything I am showing you in this haul are things that I have bought, have already worn, and that I do not plan on returning. This is not, you know, for a lookbook. This is not just for video purposes. This is actual stuff that I love that I am so happy that I have found and that I really can't wait to share with you guys. So I guess I'll start off with this top. Now, I am a huge fan of band tees. They are the one thing that I always look for when I'm thrifting. And I love David Bowie too, especially Modern Love, 80s classic. I love that song. I love this band tee. Okay, it's not an authentic band tee in that I mean, you know, the, the merch that they sell when you go to a concert, you know, it doesn't have no dates on the back but it is a beautiful 100% cotton tee and it is made in Cambodia, I think. So it's really soft. It was in the men's department and I got a size extra small. I love it. 10 bucks this was. I just love the color scheme. I'm just wearing it with my jeans and I absolutely love it. And I also got this linen one. I couldn't help myself, especially because it says New York City on the front. I dig John Lennon. He was a poet and a legend. Dig? Does anyone say dig anymore? God, you can tell I was born in the 70s. I mean, throwing on a black blazer takes this jeans and a t-shirt outfit to a whole nother level. It's just one of my favorite, favorite outfits to wear and I love it. And did I mention this bucket hat also from Kmart on clearance for $4, I discovered not only am I obsessed with bucket bags, I'm also now obsessed with bucket hats. I know it may not be everyone's cup of tea, but I love it, especially for a hat lady like me. And with this pandemic, hairdressers, you can forget about that. So my roots, oh my God, you don't even wanna have a look at these roots. You will be so scared. I cannot even show these roots on camera. I mean, I love a grungy look, but these are beyond that. Anyway, I also found this one. I mean, Baker Boy hats were all the rage last year. I had about 10 and I sold them all on my eBay shop because I got so sick to death of seeing myself in one. And here I am again buying one, but it was only two bucks on clearance. It's the same colorway stripe as the bucket hat and I think it's really cute. And this one, how cute is this one? It's just adorable with this ribbon, this striped ribbon, a beautiful natural straw. They are not cheap and nasty. They are really nicely made and this was only $2 as well. Can you believe it? So I couldn't help myself and had to get the black one as well. I mean, it's just so fancy lady, isn't it? And I've never owned a black hat. I think it's a little harsh on my skin, but it was only $2. I couldn't resist it. I may or may not wear it. It is currently, well, it's currently on my head, but I usually have it on my wall, hanging on my wall as, you know, decor. And I love it. It's like art. So yeah, that one too. I'm always up for a little bit of a Western vibe in my outfits. So I had to get this one. $2 as well. It has a beautiful little detail around the brim of the hat. I love it. Two bucks. Can you believe it? I just think it's gorgeous. I love the natural color. I love the way it sits on my head. Like I said, they are just so well made. For $2, I couldn't pass them up. So I have five new hats. And while we are on the topic of Western vibes, I got these boots, which is really what started this whole Kmart obsession of mine. I guess you could call it an obsession because I am in there every day. I mean, if you take thrifting away from me, what is a girl to do? I have to get my kicks somehow, some way, especially in these you know, depressing times. And you know what? I am on a no buy, which means I cannot buy anything unless it is thrift. That means no retail. But if it is retail, it can be $50 and under. That's a new rule. But you won't be seeing me in this hat and those boots in the same outfit. No, that's a bit too much and a little bit contrived. I love juxtaposition. So I would wear the Western hat 
with say my cozy and a beautiful kimono speaking of cozies and western hats i found this cute little bikini top for five dollars i don't think you'll get your hands on this anymore i did try looking for the bottoms in my size but had no luck this pattern also came in a one piece but i really liked the shape of this little bandeau bikini top i am not going to try it on for you ladies there is no way in hell i am trying this on well i can put it on for you over my t-shirt how's that so you get the picture it is very cute it is in this beautiful green and white textured fabric look at me filling myself up no stop you get the hint i just wanted to show you guys this because i think it's just so cute i couldn't find the bottom and i was really upset about that i am going to wear this inside a kimono with my high-waisted denim shorts and the western vibes hat see what i mean i mean it even looks cute over this banty right no joe come on no no this I'm ridiculous seriously by the way those boots cost me $30 they do come in black as well and they are now down to $15 so anything I can find links to I will link down below for you but because a lot of these things are clearance you'll just have to get down to your local Kmart or just you know travel around to different Kmarts because everyone has different stock and you never know what you may find <music> cute little purse I found for five dollars it was clearance again I just love it it's in a beautiful cotton linen vibe just this chevron navy and cream print it's got a little tassel on the zip I really love it I'm going to use this when I travel I've already got stuff in it I'm going to use it as a you know big wallet to put my notes and my passport and you know as a little clutch I just think it is so cute for five dollars I love it because it doesn't look cheap and nasty you know when you buy non-leather bags from Kmart they can look very cheap and very nasty but this one because it's all in natural fibers it looks like something you could have bought from boutique I love it this gray top is so soft in a beautiful soft gray it only cost me four dollars it was in the sleepwear department it was reduced it's just a drop shoulder and it was only four dollars I couldn't believe it four dollars for a beautiful soft Good quality top these bottoms I just fell in love with the color they're high-waisted they have pockets they are just adorable they were seven dollars and of course they make an adorable little PJ set I don't plan on wearing these as PJs this top I would wear with jeans these bottoms I would dress up and wear out I'm gonna throw on this beautiful cream wool sweater that I thrifted with these little shorts if I was to walk out in public like this who would know that I'm wearing pajamas really I mean they are adorable this blue and cream with the cream sweater it's just so soft and cozy and classic and I love it even with this bucket hat and my western boots I am fast losing the light I have to work quickly I am more than halfway through hang in with me I've still got some really cute stuff to show you guys these earrings were only two dollars they are in a beautiful translucent pink color they remind me of rose quartz I just think they make an adorable addition to any outfit because they are neutral and they're hoops and they're just a little bit different they are beautiful look at them they were only two dollars and they were the last pair the absolute last pair I just thought wow they're for me I love this outfit I am totally gonna rock this outfit no word of a lie this black tank top only cost me two dollars it's in a beautiful soft cotton slash modal fabric I love the cut it is like a high-end tank I couldn't believe it look how high cut it is right up my alley it looks great to lounge around with with pajama shorts it's just I couldn't believe my luck you guys I'm in love with this outfit so much I'm just not sure if I look a bit ridiculous wearing it am I too old to wear this please let me know in the comments below but this little overall skirt thingy was actually in the kids section you know the girls 7 to 16 I think it is a size 16 I absolutely love it I mean I just like it like this with nothing layered underneath because I'm a little scandalous like that I don't know if I'm you know 
a little too old to be wearing something like this but i love it it is so cute and it was in the girls department it's in a simple black denim the denim feels really weighty i really like the way i adjusted the straps nice and high because it creates a beautiful square neckline but i also think it looks great layered with that little tank i think you know it covers me up a lot more definitely more age appropriate i hate using that term but you know it's so cute i love this I also picked up these bike shorts. I really like this mushroom mauvey brownie kind of color. I am hyper aware that I'm channeling Kim K vibes with this outfit. I have no qualms to say that I am really feeling it. I love this look. It's just very cozy and comfortable. I'm not really one to follow trends, but I gotta say I'm jumping on this one. So I grabbed them in this black colorway first. They have two simple black stripes going down the sides and these were only $10. The mushroom colored ones were 15. I really do love everything that I bought, but I think this is my favorite piece and I saved it for last. This gorgeous hunter green corduroy button down shirt. I mean, it's just so dreamy. It is so cozy. The color is amazing. It is oversized. It has a drop shoulder. I mean, you could tuck in the front flap if you like and zhuzh it up or tuck it all in or tie it up. It is just an amazing shirt and I absolutely love it. I couldn't believe that it was Kmart. It is made in India. The cotton is beautiful. Everything that I bought is made in either India or Cambodia. The cottons were 100% slash modal. Everything just felt so beautiful on the skin. I'm not into scratchy cotton and polyester and things of that nature. So I'm just really happy with everything. This gorgeous shirt, my friends, was $18. It is a size 10. I want it to be oversized and I think this is oversized enough and I absolutely love it and I can't wait to wear it. If only they would let us out. When they let us out, I am going to go thrifting for a whole day from the morning to the afternoon and I'm going to dress up and I'm going to make a whole day of it. I'd love to know what you guys are going to get up to. I think this corduroy shirt is just so dreamy especially when you wear it with a tan blazer i mean this is just so dreamy you guys i cannot believe how much i fell in love when i saw this 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 shirt it came in a maroon and a tan color i just love it to death i think it makes a gorgeous outfit with the hat the boots the shirt three things that came up hat shirt and boots you know blazers h&m jeans a levi's came up you've outdone yourself i did have to go searching for these pieces but anyway that is my haul you guys i really hope that you enjoyed watching this and that i entertained you and maybe distracted you even for a little while if you're still here then thank you for watching right till the end. I would just like to say for those of you who know me and are familiar with my content, it seemed like just when I had planned to hang up my content creator hat and go out there and live my life because this was taking up all of my time. This pandemic happened and you know, we are stuck indoors. I have been unemployed for seven weeks. It doesn't look like I'll be going back to my job. So what is a girl to do? I have my side hustle, which is fast becoming my, you know, main source of income, which is my eBay shop where I sell all my thrifted pieces. Then I thought, why not create content and, you know, do what I love and keep myself busy, inspired and productive and hopefully inspire you guys and entertain you guys too. I don't know about two videos a week as I'm homeschooling my kid and and I do still have to look for some kind of, you know, employment when we're allowed to get out there again. I do hope to put up one video a week. And the kind of content I make is styling videos that contains a lot of thrift, a lot of hauls and travel content, you know, that kind of thing. So if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel. And I really hope I see you guys in my next one.